views expressed on this program are those of the hosts, guests, and callers, and are not necessarily those of this station, its management, or other advertisers. You're listening to Transformation Talk Radio. The following audio is via a Skype call. Welcome to the hit show, Sheer Alchemy, with Leslie Fontaine on TransformationTalkRadio.com. Get ready to stir up your passions, identify your blocks, and shift into an entirely new existence. Just say yes to explosive abundance. Leslie Fontaine is a transformation catalyst and clairvoyant who uses her intuitive and energetic gifts to catapult listeners into living the life they were born to live. Whether it's shifting from scarcity to abundance, from emotional pain into joy, or from illness into health, Leslie will help you step into the true essence and power of all that you are with the help of the Ascended Masters and Archangels. You will not be the same. Now, here's your host, Leslie Fontaine. Hi, everybody. This is Leslie Fontaine. This is your appointment with transformation, something that you're ready to move and shift in your life, something you've been guided to move into. It is your day. It is your time. And if you're burdened with sadness or with frustration or just low energy or feeling that you're not able to create much today with your energy. I want to go ahead and uh, send out some inspiration to you. I want to send out some light to you that allows you to reconnect with your essence, reconnect with who you are. You are special. You are here on purpose. And it is an amazing day to create. We're creating in every moment. Our energy is continuously creating, attracting, repelling, resisting, doing all kinds of things. So let's check ourselves out today, see how we are. And this isn't a time for hopelessness. It's a time to be aware and then to choose what we want to create. So today's episode is an interesting one. I'm talking about how we clear blocks of tradition, culture, and personality. And, um, you know, these kinds of things are almost unconscious to us because we've lived with them for so long. We don't even notice when they come out of our mouths. We don't even notice the tone, the kind of limiting words we use, the perceptions that we have that we have accepted up till now as absolutely real, absolutely true. This is exactly how it is. We don't realize in so many places where we've drunk the Kool-Aid and accepted a kind of limitation that is really not proven to be fact. The confusing part of all of this is that when we attract based on our energy, we say, we'll see, it's proven. This is the way the world is. This is how it shows up for me in my life. These are the things that always happen for me. These are the kinds of jobs I always get. These are the limitations I always have. Something's always going wrong. Third time's a charm. Whatever it is that comes up for you that is just same old same old you know just think of all the lines you know one of my my favorites that I bring up even to myself at times is the saying now um, it is what it is well okay that's true what does it is what it is mean if you think what it means when it's being said it's typically referring to a negative situation A situation that doesn't feel good, isn't showing up in a way that's very encouraging, has some limitations associated with it. We never say it is what it is with regard to something incredible, amazing, outstanding. It's typically an affirmation of the limiting situation. So we have a lot of these that we just accept as status. Sometimes we're going into our day white knuckling it, just holding on, just getting ourselves through, having our first cup of coffee, 
and then just hoping we can make it till noon and then escape for a little bit before we go back to our job. Or we're in a situation of raising children and we just don't have what it takes in our heart space to do it day after day after day. There's so many have tos and shoulds and, you know, this is life and when are you going to have children and are you getting married and uh, what do you do for a living? All these things that are thrown at us and accepted as true and real and the way to go. And we can turn that whole thing upside down. So I want to help you identify some of these blocks, because as we talk about them, you're going to notice how that energy feels. And that's the most important thing. When we start awakening, when we start becoming aware, then we become aware of the limitation or the constriction in our field, right? We can tell when we meet someone where we're feeling coerced or shut down or we stop speaking our truth, we go into people-pleasing mode, we go into fear mode, and then we can tell situations that are very expansive and that make us feel like we can be real and speak our truth and be happy about what we might call silly things or, you know, just stuff that means something important to us. So today I really would like for you to get a sense of how these things feel in your field. And then ask yourself, why have I accepted this as a limitation to my existence? See, you're, you've lived multiple lifetimes. You've done this over and over, different roles, different challenges, different limitations, or st- lifetimes where you've been powerful, lifetimes where you've been you know, not powerful or imprisoned or punished or put down. We right now are in the set of challenges of this lifetime. And if we're aware of something we want to shift, then it's this moment to raise our vibration. It's this moment to heal those wounds. Those wounds are there to be healed. They're not there just to be talked about. They're not there just to be endured. If you're aware of them right now, they're there to be healed. So back to the lines I was talking about, it is what it is, or that's the way the cookie crumbles, or third time's a charm, or whatever the rules are, the thoughts are, the things that were the sayings in your family, or the fears, you know, in your family, if you grew up being terrified of water, or terrified of flying, or where did you learn these, think about it. You know, millions of people are flying every single day and you have an absolute terror of flying. So what is that? Where did it come from? Where did you learn it? How is it that you have it and someone else doesn't have it? So we want to take a look at all of these things that come up and ask ourselves today, what's showing up today for you? What I would love out of this show is that over the next week, you take a look at some of the limitations that you have accepted as the truth, as fact, and ask yourself, am I ready to release it? You know, I talk often about how sometimes we're not ready to release it. It's a part of our story. It's a part of the fabric of our day-to-day lives. It can even make ourselves feel comfortable that we live in a very confined or limited kind of way with our thoughts, with our habits, with the way we do things, with the house we live in, with the circumstances we're in. And so the challenge comes up, am I ready to release this? So what is the part of you asking you to release it? The part of you asking to release it is the soul expansiveness, that soul essence of you that is ready to step into all that you are. And it's challenging you to move through this thing. As I've talked about before, the assumption is that when we let go of some comfort zone or some way we live or some aspect of our personality, we're convinced that we will lose loved ones, lose finances, lose our home, make choices that are detrimental to us. We don't see that that amazing thing 
is going to have a fantastic outcome. We say we do. But when the challenges come up for us to release old patterns, old ways of thinking, old energies, old contracts, we become afraid and we pull back. We start to compromise. We start to uh, pull away from the dream. We start to settle. And then we want to talk about how we're feeling a bit stuck. So the stuckness always happens <clears throat> at the point <clears throat> of saying yes. When we say yes to stepping into that dream, desire, opportunity that is showing up for us, the next thing is releasing those things that are in the way. We get afraid because we don't know how it's going to show up. We get afraid because we're not sure we know how to make the next step even happen. And there is an assumption there that I should know what to do before I step into that thing. That isn't necessarily the case. Because the next step of stepping into your abundance and stepping into your awareness is trusting the guidance that comes to you and trusting yourself. So many of us have learned to stop trusting ourselves. So we fall back into the patterns, back into the limitations, back into what we've learned and absorbed, and live back again on autopilot. So if this is clicking with you, if this is resonating with you, we are going to learn about clearing some blocks of tradition, culture, and personality, because that's what's coming up for you. That's the opportunity that you have to step into all that you are. This is Leslie Fontaine. We're talking about abundance and where we find blocks in our field. If you're interested in calling in, today's number is 800-930-2819, 800-930-2819. If you're interested in the work that I do and the classes that I teach, I hope you'll go to my website, lesliefontaine.com. That's L-E-S-L-I-E. F-O-N-T-E-Y-N-E dot com. And my business is to help you heal and clear the blocks that you're ready to release so that you can step in to this most amazing lifetime that you have right now in front of you. When we come back, we're going to walk through how to feel these limitations in our energy field and then decide if we're ready to shift them. Very exciting. Brand consultant Jen Morgan is here with Radically Distinct Radio to help you take control of your future and maximize your brand's power to produce results. Whether you're an individual trying to reinvent yourself and launch a new venture, or you're an executive trying to reposition your company to modernize your sales and marketing programs, Jen Morgan and the Rad Method empower you to play to your strengths and show up in the world as your most powerful brand. To learn more, go to jenmorgan.com. That's Jen with two N's, morgan.com, or call 206 9 are you feeling stagnant or blocked in your love life career health or finances experiencing difficulty focusing or setting and achieving goals tune in to spiritual diagnostics radio with psychic visionary healers carol dorian and suzanne evans discover the cause and effect of unwanted patterns in life tune in every tuesday at 12 p.m pacific on transformation talk radio for more information, visit spiritualdeed.com. Get ready to experience Truth Talk Radio with host Deb Acker. Tune in to Truth Talk Radio each Wednesday at 3 p.m. Pacific on TransformationTalkRadio.com to illuminate the truth in your daily life as you experience life, love, and abundance from a whole new perspective. This hit show will leave you feeling lighter and bring you into a place of infinite possibilities every day in every way. Visit truthtalkradioshow.com for upcoming transformative topics and guests. Holistic Medical Center is where you find it all. A healthy space with doctors who care, see, and listen to the whole you. Hi, this is Dr. Darvish. If you have not found an answer to your chronic symptoms, you will find answers here at Holistic Medical Center. Our doctors find the root cause of your symptoms and guide your body towards healing naturally. We transform lives from within. Visit drdarvish.com or call 425 425- 
451-0404. Ari Hoffman is the hottest psychic with the warmest heart and the host of the hit show Angels and Answers. A renowned psychic, medium, spiritual life coach, and an entertaining motivational speaker, Ari has helped over 15,000 people with his amazing intuitive gifts, his passion, and his humor. Call 877-ANGEL-02 to schedule a personal reading or to have your own psychic Artie party. That's 877-ANGEL-02. And visit ArtieHoffman.com and Angels and Answers on Facebook. Wow. Hey, everyone. Welcome. Uh, Welcome to the Dr. Pat Show. This is Talk Radio to Thrive By. I'm telling you, I got to pinch myself some days because when each of us gets called to do something that we so not thought was in our real house to do for a purpose that's so much greater than us, we get to show up and shine. If you would like to show up and shine on the Dr. Pat Show as a co-host or sponsor, send us an email to inspire at the drpatshow.com. And we're back. This is Leslie Fontaine. We are talking about clearing blocks of tradition, culture, and personality. They lie hidden sometimes from our consciousness just because we've you know, trained ourselves to live with them for so long and uh, we don't even recognize it. It's kind of like learning to drive a car. You know, we we can do it without focusing on every little action that we take as we drive um, because we've mastered it. We've learned how to do it. So um, it's the same way that these things show up. And if you're stepping into your awareness and, you know, learning about spiritual things, starting to take some classes, exposing yourself to energy fields and healing and uh, angels and crystals and all these kinds of things perhaps that you're stepping into, these limitations and blocks should be starting to show up because this is your soul kind of wanting to step into more. So I talked about how we were going to walk through an exercise with our energy field and I wanted to mention first that I'm going to be teaching a class in uh, November called Empowering Your Soul Path. And I teach this class because there are a lot of you who are stepping into higher and higher energy vibrations. You're, You're learning how to trust your guidance. You're learning how to work with your psychic awareness. Um, But there's more that you want to accomplish and there's more that you want to learn about standing in your own power and, you know, protecting your energy field and and working with light beings and, um, you know, learning how to uh, transmute energy. You know, when you walk in a room, you can really shift the energy in a room. So there's a lot that we can learn about owning our field, understanding our purpose, our next steps, and then sometimes what to do with the way guidance shows up. You know, how do I handle difficult situations or challenges? When I get guidance, how do I know? Am I supposed to do it now, do it later? Um, When fear shows up and difficulties show up, uh, is that a block? Does it mean it's not supposed to be? I'm not supposed to do it now. So we walk through all of that. And by the end of this class, you are on a completely different playing field. You're really realizing how great you are, how much you can accomplish. You know, this is the beginning of a program that can last a lifetime. You know, we don't appreciate that the spiritual path has, uh, you know, primary school and high school and college and master's degree and PhD and continuous learning. Really, truly, it does. So some of us get a little impatient. Why can't I get this right now? Why doesn't it just shift this very second? Why can't I um, experience the same power that uh, someone else has? Why am I not quite able to do that yet? Well, you're learning and then you become a master and you do get to where you can do those things. So that's what this class is about. It's uh, four teleclasses. We do it uh, via conference line. We do a lot of practice uh, scenarios. If you're interested in uh, doing that, I hope you'll reach out to me. And also you can go to my website, as I mentioned, at leslie Fontaine. 
www.thepowerofthenow.com. So these are tools to shift into higher manifestation, as always. And I hope you'll reach out to me, even if you have questions about it. It's a great way to learn how to step onto your powerful path. So let's talk about clearing blocks of tradition, culture, and personality for a minute and how these show up. First of all, um, we've learned to make statements of limitation. Okay, so statements of limitation might sound like this. I have to go get my kids. I have to uh, take care of these uh, chores. I have to show up for this event or that. Okay, Um, we're not talking about choosing to do it because you're not wearing handcuffs. Um, I should do these things. I should show up. This is the way we are. We go to school. We uh, get. We want high grades. We want to get into the best college. Uh, the best college results, you know, the best grades results in um, the best career options. So there are things like, well, we're Irish. We're Italian. We're this, we're that, we don't do that, we don't eat this, we don't eat that. Um, we live, you know, with our own kind. We don't spread our wings. We don't uh, do that. This is the role of women. This is the role of men. We have an American culture. I talk often about how we sort of have a, you know, kind of a cowboy type culture in a way, which is that if you're an entrepreneur, you should be able to do it by yourself. And if you can't do it by yourself, you've failed. So think about what's coming up for you in terms of some of the traditions you learned. You know, what about holidays? We're coming up on the holidays. And there's some people that still think that they absolutely must spend every holiday with their family. And, you know, that's fine. I'm not judging the holiday, but maybe you have a different idea of what you'd like to do for the holiday, but it's a tradition. You've learned about limitations in your personality. Like, well, you know, you never were very good at sports. You never were really, you know, the smartest uh, in the class. You never were the prettiest, whatever it is. You know, we've learned different things about personality. Like, you're not a go-getter. So if someone says certain things enough times to you, after a while, you think they're true. Words have power and in that class I was talking about, we talk about the etheric field and there are attack words that can affect your field and they stay with you and you think, well, gosh, I should just get over it. Well, you don't just get over it. You don't think your way out of it. That's another common conception people have is I'll just think positive thoughts. Well, the emotions can still be dragging you down. You're thinking positive thoughts. It's not working. So, There are a lot of things that you can take a look at in your field right now. So right now, let's do a little exercise. And when we come back from the break after the exercise, we're going to talk about what came up for you. So I want you to bring into your mind um, a desire that you have. All right. Something that you truly want to step into, something you want to create. And for some of you right now, the fear in your field is so strong that it's hard for you to step into that mind space. I just want to create some light around the situation. You may be dealing with some real duress, some real financial challenges. So just notice that. Just notice what's coming up for you. Go into your heart space. You know, why are you feeling so tight? What are you afraid of? For some of you, it's that, well, I'm not sure I can do this. I'm not sure that I can you know, step into the best part of me. And that's a voice telling you that it's all up to you. There's no one that's going to help you. Source won't come through for you. Source will be just like all of the parents and adult figures in your life who never showed up for you or didn't uh, support you and who you are. They told you what you should enjoy, and so you made yourself enjoy those things. We all know that's not possible. So just notice what's showing up now in your power center. What you've learned. Are you caving a little bit in your power center? Are you holding back? Are you getting tight? What's happening there? Go into your throat space. Do you feel like you could speak your truth even in a room all by yourself? Could you out loud articulate the dreams and desires that you have? Something that you want to create, something you want to step into. 
Do you have a voice that's coming in saying, oh, be reasonable? That's not going to happen in your dreams. It's interesting, that phrase, isn't it? In your dreams. Yes, in my dreams. So take a notice there. See all the stuff that's coming up. Now, this isn't always super pleasant. All right, just notice what's showing up. Notice the voices, the ancestral line, mother's line, father's line. Some of us have come from uh, immigrant families that went through a lot of hardship and duress to get to this country or to your country. Um, We have people that have struggled with a lot of illness in the family or secrets in the family. We don't tell other people our dirty laundry. What is dirty laundry? Think about that. What is dirty laundry? It's this assumption that telling the truth about our lives will somehow damage what the reputation. So then what will people think of us? So just go through your field right now, because if we can't be real with these things, that we can't clear them. We can't find them and we can't clear them. And that's the goal. We want to clear the limitations that are showing up. Anything you learned about your appearance? Anything you learned about your loved ones or the ones that you've drawn in and repeatedly done? You know, as someone say to you, well, you know how you are. How are you? Really? And do you have the reputation of starting something and never finishing it? So just notice all these things. Notice what's showing up for you right now. This is uncovering the truth, uncovering the secrets, uncovering the family secrets. And then what we're going to do, you know, in the next phase of this is talk about your jewels, that you are the family jewel. You are. So take a look at the messages that you've learned, the limitations, everything that is culture, tradition, and personality can feel like a limitation and it feels like a constriction. Okay. It doesn't feel expansive. It doesn't feel grand. It doesn't feel magnificent. It feels compromised, coerced, limited, tight. So pay attention to that. All right. Because when we come back, we want to then check out what you're ready to release. This is really important to be real. So don't be afraid during this break. When we come back, We're going to see what we're ready to release. And there is no judgment about what you are and aren't ready to release. This is Leslie Fontaine. Transformation Talk Radio is dedicated to the education and awareness of Lyme disease. Hey, everybody. Welcome back to Lyme Talk Radio. I'm Dr. Pat, joined here by Dr. Nusheen Darvish. Dr. Pat Basili and Dr. Nusheen Darvish will be bringing the most innovative, groundbreaking information, research, treatment innovations, and stories from those it affects every day. I'm so excited to be talking about this. We have so much to share. Dr. Darvish and I are planning to do is connect the dots. People suffering with all sorts of chronic diseases, it's time. It is time for them to transform. Tune into Lyme Talk Radio and help keep our mission strong. For the loyal listeners out there that have been listening to this incredible show on Lyme disease, we are not going to let you down. We're going to come through stronger and enrich the platform for Lyme disease awareness through Lyme Talk Radio. The message will continue. The conversations will become stronger and the healing epic. Are you sick of feeling overworked with no motivation? Take a break from the daily grind. Life coach Nicole Eisler is here to provide a healing journey of optimism. Passionate and caring, Nicole is no ordinary soul. Her dedication to helping everyone has no limit. Witness the power of positivity. Tune in every first and third Tuesday at 4 p.m. Pacific for Positivity Party Radio with Nicole Eisler on Transformation Talk Radio. For more information, visit BigDreamAwakening.com. 
Tune in to The Michael Shane Show the third Tuesday of each month at 11 a.m. Pacific on TransformationTalkRadio.com and connect with the ascended beings to raise your vibration and manifest the life you desire. Get ready to receive healing through the transphysical mediumship of Reverend Michael Shane and the ascended beings. Visit MichaelShane.com. That's M-Y-C-H-A-E-L, Shane.com, and call 425-971-6632 to schedule your full healing session now. Have you been seeing numbers like 111 and 222 everywhere you go? Do you feel that the universe may be trying to get your attention, perhaps offering a message of some sort? As it turns out, numerical patterns and certain types of geometry form the very fabric of our reality, from cells under a microscope to the astronomy of our night sky. At Stellar Reflections, we offer special sessions which tap into these patterns, designed specifically to support you on your journey. The 111 and 222 activations are sessions activating new patterns in your energy field, which in turn can help you create new patterns in your life. After just one session with a practitioner, either in person or via distance, clients report gaining greater clarity, becoming more intuitive, and honoring their inner truth as they move forward in their lives. Curious about what these transformational sessions might do for you? Call 425-999-9836 or visit StellarReflections.com. That's StellarReflections.com. And we're back. This is Leslie Fontaine. We are talking about identifying blocks of tradition, culture, and personality that are showing up for us. And remember, you can have all kinds of blocks showing up. They don't have to fit into these categories. I'm not limiting that. I just want to point what these look like, feel like, sound like. And, um, you know, hopefully some things have been triggered for you as far as um, how these show up to limit some of the choices and decisions that you make. Um, The number to call in today, if you're interested in any work, is 800-930-2819, 800-930-2819. So we just walked through a process of feeling your field, okay? We've created some safe space. We've created the ability for you to feel protected while you get a sense of, you know, what those blocks feel like in your field, what they've held you back from, what was presented to you as total truth and um, maybe wasn't the case. Maybe your personality has been a little more complex than some people give you credit for. Um, Maybe you've held back your, you know, truth and anger so long because, you know, you've had the training to not speak your truth. Some people have jobs that are high security and they don't speak their truth. And unfortunately, it bleeds over to all parts of their lives. So you would think their personality is one way and it might be quite the opposite, right? So think about even how your career has affected you. You know, sometimes we have work mode, right? We put that head on and then uh, we have uh, come home and all of a sudden, you know, we're supposed to be this other personality. So you're probably a little more complex um, than people might give you credit for. Perhaps you had a religious background. You know, you came uh, up through uh, a household that had really strict rules or had a certain way of believing, certain way of speaking. You weren't allowed to use certain words or, you know, even let anyone know you were thinking certain thoughts. So that's a kind of censorship, isn't it? All this stuff gets blocked up in our field. All this stuff gets Um, into places of nooks and crannies in our energy fields, our chakra column, our meridians, we start to hold back ourselves. And when we hold back ourselves, that is the point from which we're attracting. That's the point from which we are drawing in change. So right now, let's take a look at what you identified in your field. All right, let's just go in there. I'm bringing in the ascended masters, the archangels, the healing teams, the loved ones. Bring in Kuan Yin, Master Jesus, or Sananda, Kuthumi, Vayama, Slinduche, Serapis Bay, Sanat Kumara, bringing in some beautiful energies here. 
let's bring in your guardian angel, your angel in this lifetime. Let's go through your field. And so some of you are feeling a lot of grief, a lot of sadness. So just see yourself right now, just allowing the release of that, allowing it to go, acknowledging the, the hold up, the blockage, what's held you back. Some of you are seeing some wounds, some words that were spoken over your field. Let's bring in the etheric healing team and let's patch up some of those holes and cuts and tears from some of those violating words that attacked your field. Some of you have held family secrets for a long, long time. That was your job. I want you to release those. Some of you were the caretakers of your family when the grown-ups weren't being grown-ups. A lot of us know what that's like. Some of us lived in very violent, difficult situations. And our mode of handling things is to escape, to run. And even when something really beautiful and wonderful shows up in our lives, because of the rawness of the beauty of it, because of how special it is, we will run. And a lot of people don't understand why we run from the things that are so wonderful or why we don't step right into it. But if you think about it, when we open our hearts to one thing, we open our hearts to everything, right? So let's right now bring in this beautiful healing energy and just allow yourself to release where you've been blocked up. So some of you in your power center right now, you're getting a little frightened about whether you can do it and you're feeling like, okay, I just want to give up now. I want to give up before I even start. This is your inner child. So let's just reconcile with your inner child right now. Just allow him and her to realize that we've got a whole team here. Beautiful. And let's see ourselves stepping into our power, stepping into our desire. Notice there's a little fear coming up now in your heart space, like, oh my gosh, can I do it? Can I create this? Can I make this happen? So say yes now. Just try how that feels. Say yes. Yes, I can. I can draw this in. I can receive it. And kind of make a commitment to yourself right now. I can release all of the blockages that stop me from stepping into my highest good and the highest good for everyone in my life. I understand that source energy, the universe, come from unconditional love that is good for all involved. It's not like conditional love in our loved ones, in our families, where we're limited it's conditional. If you do this for me, then I'll do that for you. Source is unconditionally loving to all. Let's release some of the harsh judgments in your field. Let's allow some of that anger to come out. Some of you have really been taught some doozy lessons about anger that you shouldn't have it. It's not holy. It's not spiritual. The thing is, I'd like you to ask your anger what it's about. Go into that place. What did you stop yourself from doing? What were you prevented from doing? Did someone else get to col go to college instead of you? Did someone else get to um, play the sports while you took care of household duties? What is coming up for you? Often anger, unexpressed, is is where we couldn't step into our passion. So passion is a very powerful energy. And anger is too. And we've been taught to be afraid of it. Or only certain people can express their anger. You can't. Just notice all these rules showing up. Some of you are really resonating with this. So now I want you to really expand your heart energy way out. I want you to extend, extend your power center out now. Really move it out. 
Notice where it gets a little too, too much, overwhelming. And ask yourself why you stop there. What will happen? Here are some other messages that come up. You won't be able to handle it. Where did you learn that? You probably learned that no one would be there for you. They were too busy. They were too preoccupied. There's no money for you. So now let's bring in your support team. Loved ones, guidance, teachers, runners. Let's bring them all in for you right now. Let's bring in some beautiful cosmic white light. Wow. Some of you really received that. And I just feel some of those blockages, limitations, traditions, cultural experiences falling away. Releasing it, letting it go from the back of your field. Notice some of the fears that you acquired but don't even know why they're there. Letting them go. A lot is coming out of the top of your crown. This is a common place for releasings to occur. Let it go. Should be tingling at the top of your crown. Wonderful. And now we're boosting up your security center. You can create your own security. You can be abundant. Wonderful. A lot is coming forth out of your throat space. I really recommend for some of you after this show to go into a room where you feel safe and just start articulating your truth. It may sound, you know, kind of confused and jumbled, but that's because you haven't done it. So find a room, a safe place, and start articulating your dreams and thoughts and passions and ideas and things that you want to do, things that you want to create. This is your opportunity to do that. When we come back, we're going to talk about what it's like to release these things and what happens next. It's quite the adventure. If you're interested in calling in, the number is 800-930-2819. This is Leslie Fontaine, and we are truly doing some alchemy today. Can you keep your lifestyle in retirement? It's a question people often wonder about. Ask Ameriprise Financial Advisor Jeff Packman about the new Confident Retirement Approach. You and Jeff can break down retirement planning step-by-step to get the real answers you need. Call Jeff Packman Financial Advisor today at 425-453-0272. Office is located at 601 108th Avenue Northeast, Suite 1800, Bellevue, Washington, 98004. The Confident Retirement Approach is not a guarantee of future financial results. Investment and advisory products and services are made available through Ameriprise Financial Services Incorporated, a registered investment advisor. Ameriprise Financial Services Incorporated, member FINRA and SIPC. Hi, this is Leslie Fontaine. Are you driven by your victimized inner child? Does your child scream at the possibility of the unknown? Remember, your child couldn't drive a car, go to the grocery store, say no, control her time, or make money. Panic surfaces when we empower ourselves, start something new, or just say no. That child doesn't know the big you can take care of yourself. Rather than fight, embrace her. Let him know you can take care of him. This is a big part of healing for many of us. Need help? Visit LeslieFontaine.com and let's talk about unfolding all that you want to be, do, and have. There are individual sessions, classes, and audio products to help remove the blocks and move you into your potential. And listen to my show, Share Alchemy on Transformation Talk Radio, Wednesdays at 10 Pacific, 1 Eastern. Welcome to the Dr. Pat Show, talk radio to thrive by. I am so thrilled to be talking to all of you. We have got talk radio for all of us. Are you ready and willing and able to accept all of the abundance you can muster up in your life? Check us out at drpatshow.com, transformationtalkradio.com, transformationradio.fm. 
Are you anxious, worried, or insecure? Hi, I'm Dr. Friedman Schaub. I'm the author of The Fear and Anxiety Solution. Join me for my next breakthrough video seminar, which starts on September 10th. This program has helped thousands of people worldwide to overcome their struggles with anxiety, and I'm certain it can also help you. If you're ready to be free again and have a stronger foundation of inner peace and confidence, visit thefearandanxietysolution.com. Francine Vale is a being of light. She believes that all people of planet Earth are as well. As co-host of the Angel Healer radio show, Francine teaches you heart-centered ways to manifest healing on your own behalf and how to integrate love more fully into your daily life. Connect with your angels as you find your life flowing with ease and harmony. Walk the path of light with Francine and Dr. Pat Basili every month on TransformationTalkRadio.com. We're back. This is Leslie Fontaine. We are doing sheer alchemy here with our blocks that come from tradition, culture, and personality. We've done an amazing clearing. You know, first you had the courage to find uh, some of the blockages and limitations, and then, you know, we did the clearing. And so now, you know, we don't want to talk about what's next. What happens? You know, some people get a little confused about this part. You know, I often tell people, you know, that it takes a few days to integrate work. Um, and mainly because when we're releasing, it releases over the next few days. You know, things come up to remind us of that wound. We have sadness about time we've lost, opportunities we've lost, um, loves we've lost. Some of us regret having lost love or uh, friendships or um, things that meant so much to us at the time. And we told ourselves we couldn't have it. We couldn't participate in that at the time. It wasn't a good time. You know, we had rules about, well, I've got the children and I've got the job and I've got this location and I, I can't move and I have to be near this family member and I have to do these things on these holidays. We have so many things that we've told ourselves are rules when we release ourselves from the rules it's a little scary because there's some message underlying i think for some of us that we're going to be irresponsible foolish we're going to make mistakes we're going to become a completely different person so there's a lot that comes up that suddenly feels very free we talk about freedom being a good thing, but most of us would really rather not have choices. That's the truth of it. We'd rather have God, somebody, someone in authority tell us, this is what you need to do. This is where you need to go. This is how life is going to turn out. This is what's going to happen for you. This is what to expect. It just releases us from responsibility and from choices. So, I can tell you, if someone showed up and gave you five choices, how would you feel? We'd be almost overwhelmed. So it's almost easier if someone says, this is the way to go. You know, this is what happens. Let's say you get three or four different job offers. That's hard. If you get one, it's a little easier. So take a look at the parts of you that have been a little terrified of taking responsibility for the options and the choices, removing the have-tos from your language, the I shoulds, this is the way we are, this is what we do, this is what happens on holidays. What if you did something completely different? What is it that you've been wanting to do? What if you picked up a new hobby and you've never even uh, practiced that hobby before? It's a brand new experience, right? So all of these things start to come up. Do you know the difference between excitement and fear? Do you get really, really excited about something, but terrified at the same time? What is the fear about? You know, when you were two or three years old and you were running around, you weren't scared of anything. You had to learn those fears. People taught you to be fearful. So think about your excitement right now. When was the last time you felt excited? The last time you felt happy? The last time you got uh, inspired by something 
And what did you do afterwards? Was it momentary and then you kind of killed it later? Or did you allow it to grow and expand and become bigger and larger? Those are the things you want to look at in your field. And then as these come up, just say, I release the fear of being happy. I release the fear of being responsible for my choices. I release the fear of not knowing how to do something that comes to me to try, to experiment, to learn. Just notice all these things that start to show up now. We get very overwhelmed, and that's our inner child. All right, so bring the inner child in now, and let's comfort him and her. And let's let them know that we're the grown-up now. We're in the driver's seat. We can do this. We can choose it. Notice the messages of foolishness coming up. Decide now that you're not being foolish. You're stepping into your passion. Did you learn that your passions were foolish? Did you learn that you had to work in the family business and put away that foolishness? What are all the things coming up for you right now? Where have the shaming messages come from? All right. All those messages are messages of control. We absorb them and we use them to start controlling ourselves, to hold ourselves back. And then we become these very restrained people who can completely control ourselves in the midst of any circumstance. That is considered mastery. I want you to step into some greater mastery. I want you to step into the mastery of your soul essence and just grabbing that vision, grabbing that desire and running with it. And if you feel sad, to not be frightened of it. And if you feel disappointed and angry, to allow that. You don't have to stay there, but you want to allow the release of it. And now go, what do we want to do now? What do we want to create now? Often what we want is for that community to come and join us. And they're not going to be there right away necessarily. They're not going to be on our bus. This is about you right now. This is your private party. This is your moment to make a choice, to choose, to celebrate who you are. If things haven't been working for a while, it may be that you've been trying to live a life that's not yours. Many of us have done this. Many. So now we want to create a life that does work. Now, in this outside world where we have limitations and uh, messaging of what we can and can't do, it takes a little courage. Courage is standing up to something in the face of fear. You don't need courage if it's easy. Courage is coming up against an old block and go, wow, I don't need that anymore. I can do this. I've got this. I can handle this. So remember the wonderful feeling of having the loved ones, the masters, the healing teams, the archangels, the ascended masters being a part of the vision, a part of the new knowledge stream that's coming into your uh, seventh and into your sixth, just the new awareness that you're having now. Allow yourself to expand on that. Write about it a little bit. Eliminate any, eliminate any messages about perfect, imperfection. You do not have to be perfect the first time. You are writing a message out. You're communicating to yourself and maybe to others. Give yourself some room here. Give yourself some room to expand. Don't hold yourself back because you're afraid you might fail. What is failure? What did you learn about failure? There's so many things that will come up for you over the next week, and I hope you'll write me and let me know what this exercise has been like for you. Because sometimes we just want someone to let us know it's okay what we're feeling. If we have a lot of tears or a lot of anger or a lot of sadness, we just want someone to let us know it's all right. And I'm telling you, it is all right. It won't last forever. Joy does come in the morning. So let this process out. You've been holding these things for years, decades. So as you allow this to release, then the news starts to take shape, take form. You even have to get used to your new energy, who you are. You know, you start to learn new things about yourself because they've been covered over for so long. We all go through this. 
This is the life of endless growth, of endless shifting, of continued expansion, experiencing the higher dimensions, the new economy, the new love, love that's not conditional and based on merit and just uh, what you do and perform for others. You start to get a sense of who you truly are in your own energy field. It is absolutely stupendous. And I hope you take this opportunity to walk through some of these things for yourself. Get yourself a little journal. Jot down some notes. You don't have to write a novel. But just jot down some things that are coming to you. You know, what came to you 10 years ago, 20 years ago, 30 years ago? What's coming up for you now? We're constantly shifting and changing. Be all that you are. I hope you'll reach out to me with uh, some of your questions. And if you're interested in taking the class, Empowering Your Soul Path, I hope you won't hesitate to reach out and do that. This is Leslie Fontaine. And until next time. You've been listening to the hit show, Sheer Alchemy with Leslie Fontaine on TransformationTalkRadio.com. Tune in each month to Sheer Alchemy with Leslie Fontaine to stir up your passions, remove your blocks, and shift into an entirely new existence. Gifted, shifted, and powerful is what this show is about. Visit TransformationTalkRadio.com and LeslieFontaine.com for showtimes and dates. Contact Leslie at LeslieFontaine.com to schedule a transformative session that removes your blocks so that you can say yes to explosive abundance. You will not be the same. The preceding audio was via a Skype call.